soon, I know who's going to kill me. And I'm going to give you the information so that all 20 of you <laughs> will be able to help my family. Because Gene Simmons from KISS is going to kill me. I am certain of it, that Gene Simmons from KISS is going to kill me. And it started out as something silly. I auditioned for about a year to be Howard Stern's sidekick. And during that one year period, all I would do really is just sit in the background as celebrity voices and I would say awful shit as celebrities. <laughs> like everybody had like an angle, you know. Like if it was, uh, like say Christopher Walken would be like a guy who would say racist shit or, you know. Like something in the news would come up about race and I'd jump in. That's, that sounds great. <laughs> Howard, that reminds me of a great joke. <laughs> yeah? What's the joke, Chris? Well, what do you call a midget Puerto Rican? A speck. Pow! That's a great joke. <laughs> and what's funny is that people at home would be like, man, Christopher Walken's fucking racist. <laughs> like, they'll get mad. <laughs> and I had this impression of Gene Simmons that was like, it wasn't really funny. It sounded like Gene, but we really couldn't make it funny. I was trying to think of a funny angle, and it was like, how great would it be if every time we have a music guest in the studio, I'll just constantly interrupt them as Gene Simmons and try to sell them shitty Kiss products. <laughs> and it worked. And it was funny. It doesn't matter who the musical guest was. The bigger the musical guest, the better to fuck with. It just whoever, like, it could have been Coldplay. It could have been Jay-Z. It would all come back to Kiss. It could, Paul, it could have been Paul McCartney. And in the middle of the interviews, I would just go, Paul, I'm going to stop you right there. By the way, this is Gene Simmons from KISS. And if you go to KISSonline.com right now, you will see how much the Beatles stole everything from KISS. <laughs> and Paul McCartney would look at me and go, who the fuck are you? And i go, I'll tell you who I am. How many members were in the Beatles? Four, right. How many members were in KISS? Four, thank you. Go to kissonline.com. It didn't make any sense. I was just an asshole. You guys put out Abbey Road, right? Yeah. I fucked a fat girl named Abby in the road. Fuck you. Go to kissonline.com. <laughs> but what's weird about it that we had no idea about at the time is Gene Simmons, the real Gene, started getting hate mail. And people started yelling at him on the streets. Like, he'd be at a mall in Beverly Hills, so I'd go, Why are you such a dick to Paul McCartney? <laughs> Who, me? What did I say to Paul McCartney? I don't, I never said anything that was mean. And then, or, or all the weird gay shit I would say on the air, people would, people would think was real, and they'd go, Why do you want to finger fuck Fabio? He's a nice man. <laughs> and she would go, I never met Fabio. What are you talking about? I never... And someone finally told him, Gene, there's a guy in New York. Um, I'm the Howard Stern Joe. He's a comedian. His name's Greg Gass. He does an impression of you. And he's an asshole. <laughs> he's, he's an asshole. And, and people think it's you. I don't know why. And armed with the information, without telling us, Gene got on a plane, flew to New York, and confronted me live on the air. <laughs> Which I know a lot of you saw, it became an episode of E! Entertainment Television of his first uh, visit with me on the Howard Stern Show. This is how we find out about it. We're having fun on the air, laughing about something that was in the news that day, and Gary Delabate, the producer of the Howard Stern Show, walked in and he goes, oh, hey guys, um, hold on, hold on, you gotta stop, you gotta stop, this is, no, 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 um, okay, shit. Uh... <laughs> Okay, Gene Simmons just walked in the building and he wants to beat the fuck out of Craig right now. And I was like... Out of me? He's here? Wait, he, we're not gonna let him upstairs, are we? We're not gonna let him in the, on the floor, are we? Well, all the security guys are big kiss fans. Let him in without a pass. And I was like, holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. What do we do? What do we do? And Howard's looking at me going, Craig, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. And I was like, great for who? 
not great for me. It's great for you. This is not great for me. It's like, all right, all right. So, okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go commercial right now. And when we come back, Gene Simmons, not Craig acting like Gene Simmons, the real Gene Simmons is here. And when we get back from this commercial break, we're going to have Gene talk to Craig about his impression. And we go to commercial, and Gary comes over with, like, the worst advice ever. Okay, listen, so listen, if he, if he tries to punch you in the face, he might get, like, two or three clean ones off your face, but, but we'll let Ronnie jump in, so just, just to make sure you just kind of defend your face. I was like, hit me in the face? What the fuck are you talking about? That's the worst advice I've ever heard. He's like, no, no, you're going to be great. You're going to be great. No, Ronnie will jump in. You might get a couple hits, but, you know, who knows? We come back from commercial, and go, all right, let's let him in. Please welcome Gene Simmons from KISS. And Gene comes walking in, and in the studio, there's five or six people in the studio. So he doesn't know which one of us is the asshole. And when he comes in... Yes. And everyone in the room went, right here. He's just, um, I'm just gonna, I'll go over here. You, wanna, you can take my chair if you want. This is, that, that's who you want to talk to right there. And Gene came in. Right. First of all, you don't sound anything like me at all, okay? That's number one. And number two, I didn't come here to talk about people who think they're funny. I came here to talk about something very serious and something that's never been done before in rock and roll. If you go to kissonline.com, and I was like... <laughs> Is he fucking serious? And he was. He tried to sell us a kiss casket. <laughs> At one point, Howard said... This is a joke, right? You're joking, right? Are you joking about the kiss casket? He goes, joking? What am I joking about? No, it's a real, it's $5,000. Beautiful kiss casket with a kiss logo on the side. And guess what? It doubles as an ice cooler. And I was like, <laughs> and I kept jumping in the middle of his interview going, you know what else has never been done before rock and roll? <laughs> For $1 million, I will throw Ace Freely, our guitar player, into the casket, and you can spend eternity spooning with Kiss. <laughs> and Gene kept cutting me off going, no, you be quiet. No, you be quiet. No, I'm serious. No, I'm serious. No, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. And everyone at home was going, who the fuck is talking right now? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> so the interview ends. And Gene gets up to explain what happened at the end of that interview on the E! Entertainment television show. Gene gets up, he shakes Howard's hand, gives Robin a hug, and then I walked in behind them and I was like, hey, hey I'm Craig. I just, I wanted to say hi. And thanks for coming in. Thanks for having a good sense of humor. And he just stared at me and went, And he walked out of the room. And I stood there and I was like, did you see that? What the fuck was that? Is he mad at me? He's pissed. What the fuck's he mad about? Outside, this is why this happened. Our camera guy, Ganji, is waiting for him. And he goes, Gene, so what'd you think about the new guy, Craig Gass? And Gene's walking down the hall and he went, I, uh, and I ran up behind him and that's why I pushed him out of the way and went, <clears throat> I'll tell you what I thought. You want to know what I think of Craig Gass? I love him. He's amazing. I don't know what's on his facial hair. That's fucking weird, but I'll tell you what. So after the interview, the next day, Gary Delabate, the producer of the show, comes walking up to me and he goes, uh, he tells us the, the big breaking news. Hi, guys. You're not going to believe this. I just got off the phone with the kids headquarters. Which <laughs> That sentence should have been, hey, guys, you're not going to believe this. This is a fucking kids headquarters. <laughs> I know, it's fucking weird, right? And Gary tells us, um, I just got the phone with Gene Simmons at the KISS headquarters, and Gene wants to come back. And he has a request. And his request is, I'd like to come back in a month when Craig isn't there. Okay? Because I really do want to sell some KISS products that are new at KISSonline.com. So please book me on a day when Craig's not around. To which I, I heard that, and I just like... That's fucking awesome. <laughs> like, as a fan, like, knowing that he knows who I am, like, I'm a fan of his, and like, and he, oh, that's fucking cool. What if I came back anyway? Ooh. Ooh. 
Oui, 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 oui. What if, what if, what if I showed up anyway and dressed up in full Gene Simmons makeup <laughs> and Gene Simmons costume and I could walk in the middle of this interview and go, I'm the real Gene Simmons and you're an imposter. Fuck you. <laughs> right? And Gary looked at me and went, holy shit, he's gonna fucking kill you. I love it. Let's do it. We're going. <laughs> Everybody write that down. We're going with Craig's idea. We're going with Craig's idea. He's gonna, he's fucking, you're not going to survive this, but this is awesome. So a month later, Gene Simmons comes back at 8.30 in the morning. What he doesn't know, I've been there since 5.30, hiding in a hallway with a professional makeup artist and a $3,000 kiss outfit with monster boots that lit up in the eyes. Gene showed up wearing... A business suit. <laughs> and Gene walks in and Howard goes, Gene, it's an honor to have you here. Gene Simmons from KISS, everybody. Gene, it's an honor to have you here. You know we're all big KISS fans, right? We're all, right? And before we get started, do you mind if we bring in this guy? Do you know about this guy? There's a guy that says that you're not the real Gene, that, that you're an imposter, that he's the real Gene. And he went, wait, there's, wait, there's a who? There's a guy that says that he's the real Gene Simmons and you've been impersonating him. I don't know what his deal is. Just, we'll just bring him in for one second. Go ahead and uh, bring him in. Bring in the other Gene Simmons. And I threw the door open with my wingspan. I said, that's right. It's me. And Gene looked over and went, oh, you motherfucker. You son of a bitch. And I walked in the room and said, that's right. I'm the real Gene Simmons. And you're an imposter. And I can prove it. Because I got a bunch of cheap shit I want to sell you. <laughs> and I had a bag full of shit. Just shit that we had written KISS logos on. <laughs> got new Kids on the Block lunchbox. I took out a marker and I just wrote KISS. And after the interview, Robin gives him a hug, and then Howard shakes his hand, and then Gene sees me in the corner and goes, come here. No, yeah, come here, Mr. Funny Man, come here. I want to talk to you. And I, I, <laughs> I, I can't walk in heels. <laughs> and I was like, hey. <sighs> What's going on? You know what you just did took a lot of balls. <laughs> You're not gonna hit me, are you? <laughs> I admire that. And he walked out of the room and I was standing there in my heels like. And then he throws the door open. Ganji's waiting for him. Gene, what'd you think about what Craig did today? And he's walking down the hall and then I was like, fuck it. I threw the door open behind him. <laughs> Dressed up like Gene. I was just standing behind him going. And hiding down the hallway in our green room, our next guest wanted to see Gene. It was Jay, Silent Bob, and Afro Man. And Afro Man had a huge song at the time that was all about getting high. That's the whole song, was because they get high. That's the whole song. And Afro Man is high as fuck. And he's staring at me, dressed like Gene Simmons. And then he looks at the real Gene Simmons. And then he looks back at me dressed like Gene Simmons and goes, Yo, Gene, can I get a picture with you? And the real Gene went, you know, this guy, and I go, shut the fuck up, here we go. <laughs> Afro man was excited. He's like, yo, my mom's just gonna trip out. Oh, I know your mom. <laughs>